Hi there once again and today we'll be editing this image I took um, I think it was around last week or the week before. Okay now let's get into it I'll try and keep this video as short as possible. I'm gonna first start by crop cropping the image. gonna straighten the horizon okay seems all right next I'm going to reduce the highlights You can see when you reduce the highlights, it's reducing globally. For this image, it works out good. As you can see around here, there's the sea. It's not, not clipped, but a bit too bright. Next, I'll just increase the shadows. I usually edit in a Adobe Camera Raw, but today I'll be trying Lightroom. Um, next, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and increase the whites. Careful not to introduce any clippings of the whites should be okay I'll do the same for the blacks all right and then I'm gonna increase just a bit of contrast okay reduce the exposure I'm trying to get the image as moody as I can as for the white balance, I'm going to reduce the temperature. Okay, I'm going to reduce slightly the tint also. Okay, great. Next, I'll be heading, I've already checked the chromatic aberration and profile corrections. I'm going to go to the calibration tab, go on the blue primary and increase the saturation. I slide it all the way to the top. As you can see it's overdone. I re reduce it slowly, slowly somewhere around 30. Okay, now that's enough for uh, global editing. I'm gonna have, oh, head over to the masking section and do some local editing. First I'm gonna start off with a linear gradient for the sky. On a tip if you hold down the up button, up arrow on the PC and pull down on the linear gradient, you get a perfectly straight line. Okay, somewhere there, just above the horizon. And I'm going to decrease slightly the exposure. Okay. All right, I'm going to decrease the highlights. Uh, 
and then I'm going to head down to the D haze and see what happens. No, it's too much. Okay, around 10, 11. I'll keep it on 11. Okay, I'm going to create another linear gradient for the foreground. Again, holding the up button on a PC for a perfectly straight line somewhere around there and I'm going to decrease the exposure all right okay it's all right next I'm gonna create another mask and I'm going to use a radio gradient one of my favorite tools it's going to be for the center. I'm going to create a slight vignette. Okay, somewhere around there. I'm going to increase it. And I'm going to a vignette, I mean, for the middle part, just for the middle, I'm going to increase the exposure. Just slightly. Okay, around there. Next, I'm going to create another radio. Okay, and I'm going to Put the radio gradient in the same position. So move it slightly to the right. Open it up a bit. All right, somewhere there. Now the radio gradient, I'm going to invert it. All right, you can see the mask is on the outsides of the picture of the image. And I'm going to decrease the exposure. Okay, now we're getting a very moody image. Not too much, somewhere around 30. Okay, great. Now I'm going to use another radio okay my computer's a bit slow but just we have some color on the horizon somewhere around there the sun is somewhere here on the brightest spot so we're going to move the radio to where the brightest spot is Okay, just to increase it. And here we're going to introduce some more color. Okay, not too much. With the temperature, don't go too much. Just subtle effects. Now one more linear gradient for the foreground. starting from the right corner my intention is to increase some texture not too much and a bit of clarity and some sharpness Okay, 
Now we're going to go out from the filters. Back to the basic tabs. And I'm going to slightly increase the overall exposure. Okay. I'm going to now go back to the masking, create a radial gradient, and after this last filter, we should be ready. I'll be creating a vignette. The vignette, I'm going to put it over where the sun is, turn it just a bit, increase the length, and increase the width. Okay, turn it a bit more. somewhere around there. I'm going to invert it and then reduce the exposure for a vignette. And there we have it. Now that's our finished image. I'll be showing you the before and afters. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button. And hope to see you in a future video. Thank you for your patience. And thanks again for watching. Bye.